It's cold. How would you say my anxiety is these days? No, but my blades. No, you haven't. Yeah! Yeah! Why is ice skating always harder than I remember it? Good morning, everybody. I just looked out the window, just taking Nala outside. It is, it's minus two degrees and everything is white and frosty. Wow, okay, that looks cold. Do we think Nala's gonna go outside in that to the toilet? Would you? <laughs> Out you go. <gasps> wow, it's cold. Put a little wreath on the back kitchen door <laughs> this year. It's kind of cute. She is going to the toilet. Okay, good girl, Nala. Oh my God, guys, look. Also, this is insane. Look at the moon this morning. Can you see that? That is a very full moon right there. Nala, it's so cold. Where are you off to? <laughs> Listen to that crunch. <gasps> it's actually kind of beautiful. This weather makes me want to put my hat and coat on and go out for a walk. It's actually quite nice. Let's go and get your sister up. Let's go. Ooh, it might be a hot chocolate kind of day today, guys. Get out the hot chocolate. Lovely. I know I just said I wanted to make a hot chocolate, but before that, I do feel like we need some kind of like refreshing morning drink. Right, I'm gonna take this improve. I'm gonna make me an Alfie a little smoothie. This is the Tropical Defense. It supports your immunity. Cause I ain't getting ill in Vlogmas. No, no, no. <laughs> this looks lovely. Right, we've got Otty's little drink. Got a drink for me and Al. I'm gonna preheat the oven because we've got croissants. Croissant, croissant, croissants. Croissants, <laughs> croissants. And I think I want a croissant and some hot chocolate. So I'm gonna preheat the oven so we can do that in a bit. One thing I keep seeing all over my reels is people in France dipping croissants into like thick hot chocolate and it's all I can think about. I just feel like, is there anywhere in the UK that does hot chocolate like that? It's essentially just melted chocolate basically, but it just looks insane. Okay, okay. Right. Yeah, should we go here? Okay, we've got two days, I think. So, today is the eighth, but you've got, oh, this one. Can you get that one? That one? Oh, clever girl. There's the chocolate. Oh, it's a star. Look. <gasps> Yummy. Should we look at it? And then, you're very lucky girl this morning. Oh, don't break the whole thing up. Oh, oh. it's another star. Yes! Can mummy see it? Otterly, can mummy have that one? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Here go. <laughs> you did give it to me, that's very kind. 
That was nice, wasn't it? What a treat. Right, let's make this hot chocolate. Chocolate orange hot chocolate. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my God, this looks unbelievable. One, two, three. I'd say they were pretty heaped. Hello, would you like a hot chocolate with your croissant? Um, yeah, let's do it. It's chocolate orange, is that okay? That's delicious. Okay. It'll be oh, ready God. in like five minutes. Alright, dude, thank okay, you. Okay, bye. Alfie oh. also wants a hot choc. Guys, not gonna lie, my Christmas plate selection makes me very happy. <laughs> okay. Marshmallows. Otty's gonna look at our breakfast and be like, why don't I have that? <laughs> uh, guys, that is very unfair. <laughs> Very excited to tuck in to this absolutely sugarific breakfast, which should not really be a breakfast, but there we go. Look outside, it's so beautiful. Alfie's auntie bought her this little pug for Christmas that walks and it's on a lead and she loves it. <laughs> you take your doggy for a walk. Oh. <laughs> Oh, look at him, he's gonna walk walk off. Wow, that was a good trick. Are you giving him some water? That's nice. So in your words, how would you say my anxiety is these days? I feel that your anxiety has diminished considerably. Oh, let me turn you up. There you go. When I think of when we first worked together, when I first met you and worked with you, you were so anxious to the point where it was really closing your life in. Mm. There were so many things that you could experience that you weren't doing. Yeah. I'm quite isolated in your home. Mm. Um, and of course, anxiety is all about feeling um, that anticipation of things that could go wrong and then avoiding them. Yeah. And you have a lot of things. Oh, I did. Yeah. <laughs> I was the queen of avoidance. avoidance. <laughs> and, and you see, and avoidance we avoid, but then that just sets up the next time we make it even tighter. And your anxiety had got very tight. Mm -hmm. And I think gradually over time, we opened all of that up. And gradually you learned how to do things, even though you felt you wanted to avoid them, but you did them and then realized it was okay. And then that just opened it up to the next thing. And to see you now, to see you now enjoying your life to the fullness and having your baby and your relationship, and it's just a joy. Aww. No, it's one of the things as a therapist that keeps me in this chair yeah is being able to witness that when somebody does their work and work on themselves and the awareness so you'll still feel the anxiousness mm -hmm. but you know you know now how to do things to change that how yeah to work with it rather than letting it close you in sometimes when it even happens like i'll randomly get you know when i always say to you like the wave like yes. when the wave comes over i always say to alfie i'm like oh I just, I just got rid of a wave. Like, oh, it's gone. I used my tools. I still tell yeah. him. <laughs> He's like, okay, good. <laughs> the waves. And, you know, going back to that thing we were talking about with the lifeboats, which of course, you know, the waves will come over. But it's knowing that I can bail my boat. Mm -hmm. or, yeah, my boat. Yes, and it is that. And it's, it's feeling it without attaching to it, without going into it. Yeah. I'm very good at that now. And... So you engage with life because you know that any anxiety you feel, it will always pass. It never stays. Yeah. How do you feel about it? It's one of those things I remember you saying, for a while, where the anxiousness isn't there, it will, it will kind of attach to other things. And then when it stops doing that, you'll find you're almost anticipating it. Like, where is it? And I remember having those 
meetings with you where I would say like, I was in a situation and I thought, why aren't, why am I not having a panic attack? Like, why is this not affecting me in the same way? And I don't even think that anymore. It's like you go through phases of like, yes. oh, I used to get anxious about this and now I'm getting anxious about that. And then that stops. And then you're like, where's the anxiety gone? Why am I not feeling anxious about this? Which can sometimes bring it on because you're kind of opening yourself up to yes. it. Yes, yes, yes. Then it was the like, where's the anxiety? And it never came. And now I don't even think, where's the anxiety? Yes, I know. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. And that's because you are living the change. So initially, you have to have the self-awareness. You can't change anything till you're aware of it. So initially, you had to become aware of your anxiety. Yeah. You had to be aware of how you were thinking of outside things affecting you inside and teach yourself that actually you were in charge mm. and you could change how you were feeling inside. And that awareness of what you're doing has to happen first and then gradually it's the change that then begins to happen. Yeah. And you don't engage with it in the same way. And the other thing I think that is part of that is that the gaps get longer. Mm. So it's not like you never experience anxiety again, but the gaps between when you experience it gradually expand. So, you know, anxiety every day, every day, every day. And then it's like, oh, I didn't have it yesterday. Oh, yeah. It. Yeah. And it gradually expands and then you've got a week without anxiety and then you get two weeks without. And now you're living a life where actually it's quite a rare occurrence. Yeah. Exactly. But you never knew how that happened. Yeah. But that's good therapy. Yeah. And a good therapist. <laughs> <laughs> and a very that's good therapist. Yeah. That's how it should be. It should be that gentle, gradual transition into something else. Yeah. And I always remember you saying, when, when you have something that's so compact, like when you tight. start so tight and compact, and it's years and years and years of how I've kind of lived my life feeling that way it does take a while and you have to work really hard to unpick all of that yes yes it's not a quick fix no if it's a quick fix it won't last mm. because it's just like putting a sticky plaster on something but the consistency the gentleness the consistency the self-awareness the being kind to self without criticism you were so hard on yourself you were so angry with yourself for becoming anxious and feeling mm. so frustrated by it but once you started to accept it and then work with that acceptance of it it begins to transform just in that way yeah so true so it's like not being so harsh about having it it's like well i've got it but hey I've also got up this morning and brushed my teeth and mm -hmm. it becomes more normal. Yeah. And in a way, it would be thought that if it became more normal, it would become more of a problem, but it doesn't. It takes all the pressure off it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And I always remember you saying that anxiety is essentially like your your brain is trying to protect you from things it doesn't need to protect you from. Yes. So now that it's on a much kind of gentler karma it's almost like your little friend that's like oh are you okay in this scenario oh yes you are just checking <laughs> yes yes and the thing is um you can see my cat's tail in the middle <laughs> um and it's that thing look can you remember how we talked about yeah, it's, it's, um, <laughs> she's probably wondering where her lunch is i'll be there in a minute yes because what happens is it's almost like it's front of house so i'm feeling anxious and in the past, it's always been it's always been about the anxiousness. Mm. But when you begin to realise it's a part of your body and mind trying to tell you that there's something you need to address, then you go behind it and you think, I'm feeling anxious. So am I tired? Mm -hmm. Am I hungry? Am I feeling stressed? Stress is the big one. Yeah. Stress and tiredness are the big, one, uh, big ones. Um, hunger hormonal is another big one. Mm-hmm or feeling unwell. And if you're any of those things, that's what's actually fueling that anxiousness. And you, you, you just need to get some sleep, or you just need to take the stress levels off. Mm. And that anxiety will lower. It's almost like a barometer. Mm. Yeah. And very often you see all the focus will be, and yours would have been all on the anxiety and solving that. But what was going on back of house? Where were you stressed? Where was the... Yeah. You work so hard, you still do work very hard, but in those days, the, the hours you were doing, you were never away from your work. Yeah, very true. 
It's been a joy. Oh, right back at you. Right back at you. <laughs> Um, thank you. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to talk about my anxiety, but the best person to explain how I am is probably Alexis. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I really am. It's, it's lovely to see. It is, it is lovely to yeah. see you enjoying your life. It was all there waiting for you. Yeah, I know. And that it is down to you. There. Well, you did the work. Yeah, very true. And you were very consistent <laughs> on that screen. And even when things were hard, you just committed yourself and you did it. Even the things that I said to, to practice. Mm -hmm. And you were like, oh, I said it work. But you stuck with it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I did. You earned your results. You really did. <laughs> Hello, guys. Oh, where am I? Where am I sitting? Let's sit here. Let's recline. Oh, sofa's further back than I thought. Ooh. So as you just saw, I just came off a call with my therapist, Alexis, who I know lots of you watching this will have seen. I did a video with her for Digital Detox Day, which I know helped so many of you, which is so amazing. One of the reasons why I wanted to ask her that question was because so many of you who have followed me over the years or who have subscribed to this channel or back in the day to my Zoella channel came across my videos because of the video I made about my anxiety and panic attacks, which I actually uploaded in 2013. And I feel like that was a time where not a lot of people were really talking about their mental health that much. I myself had only really just kind of got to grips with what anxiety and panic attacks were. It was all very new to me and I felt like I needed and wanted with this new audience that I had kind of gathered <laughs> um, to share my experiences and how I felt, especially because seeing my life online, it looked like it was just 24 seven fun. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, it was very fun. And I felt very lucky and very grateful at the time, still do. But I felt like it was almost my duty to explain that although someone can appear to be having the best time in life and you know seem happy and well put together on the outside, there could very well be a lot more beneath the surface and that can be said for absolutely anyone you know in life anyone you walk past in the street most people will have their exterior their happy face and underneath there will be something that they're struggling with and i wanted to talk about it because i wanted you guys to know that and mostly i just wanted anyone feeling how I felt to know that they weren't alone because one of the things that I really struggled with between the ages of like 17 and 21 I would say is that I felt like the odd one out I felt like I was broken <laughs> I felt like a broken human like why is my brain not working in the same way that all my friends are you know I was like that friend that never really went on nights out or would be really flaky and let people down last minute and I couldn't really work out why like why is this happening why don't I feel comfortable in these situations why am I finding this so damn hard when all I want to do is enjoy myself it's so frustrating and I just wanted to make that video to help people little did I know how much effect that would actually have on people watching my videos and it really does mean so much to me that almost 10 years later I still have people that want to know how I am and where I'm at with my anxiety and the journey that I've been on over the last however many years. And I get asked that question quite a lot, like, how are you? How's your anxiety? How's your anxiety since you've become a mum? I just want to say thank you so much, firstly, because that really, really means a lot. I think most people will know that if you have any kind of mental illness, 
someone checking in on you and being genuinely interested in how you are means the world which is also a reminder now to message anyone in your life who you know struggles with any anything full stop or any like mental health related issue because just simply asking how someone is but like really like how are you really means a lot to somebody and it really means a lot to me that so many of you want to know how I am so I thought today I would give you a little update and to start with the update I thought who better to ask than my therapist like she has been there from the beginning up until now she knows my journey she knows the work that's been put in she knows my anxiety as well as I do so that was the clip you will have just seen but she explained it very very well and probably better than I will now explain it I'm in such a better place and it doesn't even really cross my mind it's only really when I kind of think back to a moment where I previously would have really struggled doing something and I'm there doing it and I'm enjoying myself. It's things like that where I'm like, oh my God, my life used to be so different and so muffled almost by anxiety. And it's not now, it feels like the clouds are thinner. You know, like those big, thick, heavy, dark clouds. I feel like that was how I felt between the ages of like 17 and 26, 27. And just gradually, as I've worked with Alexis, the clouds, they got a bit lighter, they got a bit thinner, and now they're just that really nice, like thin cloud over a sunset. That's the best way I can describe it. You guys know I love a bloody metaphor. It's still there, and I think I'm okay with the fact that it will always be there. Most people have a level of anxiety. It's just that anyone who really struggles with anxiety and panic attacks, their level of anxiety is just too high. <laughs> it's just way too high. But everyone has, you know, a base layer. They have things that kind of set them off or that will really worry them or, um, you know, if your house went up in flames, anxiety. <laughs> it's just that I feel like I'm living my life and anxiety is there but it's not an issue in the same way that it was. And like Alexis explained in the previous clip, I know how to handle it. I know what to do when it strikes. And it does still strike. I don't wanna sit here and be like, guys, I just never feel anxious anymore. It's amazing. I know how to deal with it now, which is so, so different. And it kind of gives me the power back. I think one of the things that people really struggle with with any mental illness is that you don't feel like you're in control of your mind. You feel like anxiety is controlling you when actually like you are the one controlling it. You can control it, you're the puppeteer. And I feel like finally I am the one that's controlling it. And any time I feel like it kind of creeps in, I have worked really hard over the years to know how to kind of suppress that back down or to like rewire my way of thinking and be like, oh, okay, well, I don't really need to feel anxious about that right now. And obviously that is all down to Alexis, but also I've worked really, really hard. Anything she's told me to try, like she said, even if I'm like, I really don't wanna do that, that sounds horrific, that sounds way too hard, I've done it because I wanted my life to change. Like I didn't want to feel how I felt in those early years of experiencing continuous panic attacks. I was like, I can't live the rest of my life like this. I will either have a heart attack or I just, I won't be able to be the person I wanna be. I won't be able to do the things I wanna do. And I didn't wanna live a life like that. So yes, it's taken a really long time. No, my anxiety has not gone away. And yes, I'm okay with that. Um, and it's just a lot more manageable. Sure, there are things that come up in life that make me really anxious or that kind of exasperate those feelings. The first trimester for me with my pregnancy with Otti was one of those moments. I kind of anticipated that it might happen. It did. I was very, very, very anxious, but I had Alexis and I had my tools and it did make me think, had that been five years before, I don't know how I would have handled that. There will always be things that pop up because that's just the way my mind works. But 
I feel good about it. Am I more anxious now I have Otty? No. Do I worry more? Yes. Worry and anxiety, two very different things though. And I think it's fairly normal to worry as a parent because all you had to really worry about beforehand was yourself and external things and the world and you know family and friends and now all of a sudden you've created something that just means more to you than anything else in the world and you want to do the best job you can do and raise this little person to be the to kind of be the happiest person they can be and that is a lot of pressure and it just brings in like a whole new section of worry like if you imagine worry on a pie chart like oh i worry about this and i worry about that and i worry about this all of a sudden when you have a baby a huge majority of that pie chart becomes your baby <laughs> what it did for me anyway maybe not for everyone in terms of my anxiety around being a parent i wouldn't say it's any different so yeah i'm very happy about that but that's just my little update if any of you have any questions leave them below and i hope for any of you that have kind of come along on this journey with me or seen the changes i've made in terms of anxiety and that it's given you a little bit of confidence or reassurance that you don't always have to feel how you're feeling it doesn't have to be how you live the rest of your life and and if there's anyone out there that's really struggling right now i'm sending you so much love and so much positivity just know you're not alone how you feel right now someone else will be feeling exactly the same as you and don't be ashamed to speak to people don't be ashamed to ask for help yeah i think that's all i wanted to say but um as i said ask me any questions and i'm always here for a bit of mental health chat you guys know i love it and thank you very much for asking i just hadn't really thought to sit down and give you an update but i'm glad i have good luck editing that massive word vomit alfie <laughs> this is future zoe this is zoe at the end of the video hopping in here because i've just remembered something that i wanted to say here that i forgot to say i now only speak to alexis once a month which is just wild um because for a very long time i would speak to her for well once a week at some points in my life so yeah now i'm down to speaking to her once a month i feel like it's a really good like catch up slash top up and anything that ever comes up that i'm a bit like oh this made me feel a bit anxious or this situation is making me feel quite anxious it's just really good to speak to her but i forgot to mention that in the clip you just watched so you can carry on watching the vlog now and then spoiler alert this is what i look like at the end of the vlog <laughs> okay bye we are off to tully's for our team christmas night which is very exciting we're gonna do an escape room ice skating and ice skating and food and food afterwards which is very so, different to our previous years are more like party vibes very not formal but like a lovely christmas dinner at like a table yeah but we just thought we'd a bit more fun, it up. switch it up. It's actually quite difficult to think of something you've not done before, I find. But Especially escape when rooms, everyone lives in Brighton. So yeah. it's like everyone's done so many things. Exactly. But an escape room is like, well, for me anyway. I think for everyone. It's very fun. I, I can't, I couldn't tell you the last time I did an escape room, to be honest. Probably there. Probably was. And their and escape rooms are really unbelievable. good. Unbelievable. Like, really so good. good. So we're heading over there now. Running a tiny bit late. We should be okay. No, I think we're all good. Because okay. we have to be there by five. Oh, lovely. So obviously they left earlier, but they're further away. Got you. Okay, that's fine then. And Amanda is putting Ottie to bed tonight. So... We're going to be there early. Lovely. That's what I like. That is what I like. That's the difference between when we leave without Ottie. Bring Ottie. <laughs> yeah. That's just not bring Ottie. <laughs> also, I just don't feel like Ottie's been in the vlog much today. Oh, she was in the vlog this morning. We did our advent calendar. But yeah, I'm very excited. And equally, it's going to be freezing. Really cold. I also don't know the last time I ice skated. I, I also don't think we're going to be on time. 
if we keep vlogging. I know. Okay, let's go. <laughs> we're I like, we're not going to be late. We I are going to be on time. I currently can't see can out the windscreen. No, that is true. To be that fair. Is true. I've got the heat but you do on. have to turn this on. Yeah, but then they won't be to hear us. It's going to be so loud for the camera. Then I'll have to the turn camera the camera off. Camera comes off. first. Really? Yeah. The vlog comes first. Why is this taking so I'm long? I'm very jealous of your scarf. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I don't own a scarf. I think I need one for Christmas. I've got to the age where a scarf is a dream present. Feels weird that we just sat on the driveway while your mum's like looking after Otty and we can just stare in and watch. Maybe we should pretend that we've got things on more often. <laughs> and then we really just like go out for dinner. We're just, or the just sit on the The windscreen is not demisting. Right, I'm leaving Because we've this... got it off. Yeah, I'm turning it up. Well now no one can hear us. It's fine. We're done. Right. I'm we need really to... jealous of how cosy you are. I think I'm gonna regret this. To I told you you need a big coat. I told you. I've got my own ice skates in the boot. I bought some last week. I no, got them in the boot. Didn't. Yeah, I've got my own blades. No, you haven't. I have. I swear on my life. No. <laughs> We've got the um, credit card out. Because <laughs> it just was not clearing quick enough. <laughs> Lovely job. Lovely. Spectacular. Thank you very much. Now I can see. Uh, we need to buy a windscreen scraper. <laughs> Lovely. That's great, Alf. We're all good. I can see now. Merry Christmas, everyone. Look at all the trees. La 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 Do hats make your head this itchy? So itchy, but it also but makes why? my hair hurt when I take my hat off because it's been like kept in the same shape. It's like an itch I just can't describe. It's probably because your hat's too small. It's quite petite. Shut up. We've arrived. I feel like I'm in Diagon Alley. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it a bit like that? It, is, oh, it does say little potions emporium. Oh, so cool. Um, obviously, the rest of the team aren't here yet. We've got some mince pies, some chocolate logs, Have you seen these? mold wine. Yeah, a little bag Very of chocolate. chocolate. Lindor. Mmm, you like mold a Lindor. Wine. Lovely. Oh, oh, wait, no, they're all the way over there. Oh, can you see them? Yeah. They're in there. Welcome to the park. Our framework acceptance. Give us a hello. Okay, so we've got Thank you. you and an Alfie over there. Got me, me, Maddie, and Ella in one cell. <laughs> Guys, okay, now we've got just numbers. so you know, we found one in a piece of wood. Yeah, yeah. no, one drop. Oh, are you kidding me? No. Are you... What number is that? It's six! The task has been immediately rounded off with posse to I love that Ella's like, I'm going to get all the clues. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to find all the clues. We need to find this guy's uh, death. Okay. 21, 27 to, so later. Oh no, maybe he's... No, he's no, still alive. not a death. He's, he is the current sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> no one's dying. So he just <laughs> shot the sheriff. Guys, we did it! How did you know? How did you know? No, he got it. One, one down. down. Yeah! Oh, 
Oh shit, they're gonna be over there. That's so cool. Oh my god, do you have the camera? Oh, no, not there. Oh, you have the camera. Okay, can you do up? Because we've only got down, yeah, left, and closer. Okay, so up. Oh, oh no, we fucking fucked it! <laughs> Bloody hell, that is a big stick. <laughs> God, I want one of them. I'm gonna have to crack this guy. I'm gonna have to have one of these. Uh oh! Uh -oh. <laughs> Maddie's staying at Tully's tonight. <laughs> Note to self, by Do you know what's funny though? I, me and Alfie did this exact thing before we left, and I said I need to order some deicer or and a scraper. Yeah. <laughs> Good Christmas present. On you. Right, we are home. And I am freezing. <laughs> I feel like I need to defrost. I'm so cold. I immediately was like, it's minus three outside. I need to get into bed and I need my blanket and I need to warm up. I need to thaw out. But tonight was so much fun. Do you know what though? It's given me the the escape escape room bug. I want to do every escape room in Brighton and Hove. <laughs> Tully's escape rooms are by far some of the best escape rooms I've ever done. We need to speak to Joey about escape rooms because he's done like hundreds. I'd love to know like the best one he's ever done. I wonder if there's themed ones in terms of like, I don't know, Harry Potter or Stranger Things or like, Yeah, like, yeah. Like, imagine going to like a Stranger Things one. Be oh so my God, sick. it would be so good. Anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here because it's 10 to 11 and Alfie needs to edit it. <laughs> No, one minute to 11. It's 11 and I'll finish to edit it. But I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. And I will see you tomorrow. And so will Alfie. And so will Lottie. And so will Nola. Um, what a fun evening tomorrow as well. Good night, everyone. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe.